to announce his retirement from professional basketball because he has apparently tested positive for the AIDS virus. We take you then to Inglewood, California and Magic Johnson. First of all, let me say good, good after late afternoon. Um, because of uh, the HIV virus that I have attained, uh, I will have to retire from the Lakers uh, today. Um, I just want to make clear, first of all, that I do not have the AIDS disease, because I know a lot of you want to know that, but the uh, HIV virus. Um, my wife is fine, she's negative, so no problem with her. Um, I plan on going on, living for a long time, bugging you guys like I've always have. So you'll see me around. I plan on being with the Lakers in the league. Hopefully David will have me for a while. Um, and going on with my life. And uh, I guess now I get to enjoy some of the other sides of living that because of the season and uh, the long uh, practices and so on. I just want to say that uh, I'm going to miss playing and uh, I will now become a, a spokesman for the HIV virus because I want people and young people to realize that they can uh, practice safe sex and uh, you know sometimes you're a little naive about it and you think it could never happen to you. Uh, you only thought it could happen to, you know, other people and so on and on. And uh, it has happened, but I'm going to deal with it, and my life will go on. And uh, I will be here enjoying the Laker games and uh, all the other NBA games around the country. So life is going to go on for me, and uh, I'm going to be a happy man. Now, uh, medical questions that you have, you have to direct them to... Uh, Dr. Melman, and uh, he can answer all those questions for you. Uh, anything concerning the Lakers and so on, we have uh, Jerry West here, I'm sure. Uh, of course, the lead, you have our commissioner, who I, I want to thank. I want to thank everybody up here, as well as my teammates, because they've been behind me all the way. Uh, I want to thank Kareem for coming out, him and Coop, who we st stood side by side and won a lot of battles. Uh, Larry Drew, another good friend of mine who I played with. But uh, the commissioner, David Stern, has been great in supporting me. And uh, I will go on and hopefully work with the league and help in uh, any way that I can. I want to thank also Jerry West for all he's done, Dr. Curlin, Dr. Melman, who we will tell you who my other doctors are that have helped me through this. As well as, like I said, my father, in a sense, Dr. Jerry Buss, for you know, just drafting me and me being here. Now, of course, I will miss the battles and the wars, and I will miss you guys, but uh, uh, life goes on. Now, any other questions medical-wise, you can ask, like I said, Dr. Melman, anything with the Lakers, Jerry West, or anything with the league. If I take a few questions about myself and my plans. Magic, can you describe for us, this has been your life, Michigan State, the Lakers, Emotionally for you right now, knowing that this part of your life is over, how do you deal with it and how do you deal with, with mortality, which becomes more apparent with, with this virus? Well, I think mortality is, 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 I always wanted to be, after it was over, just live a, a, a normal life anyway. And, um, you know, now my life will change, no question about it, but uh, I think I'll still be a part of the game with working with the Lakers, working with uh, the league, and as I do that, then I hopefully still own a team. Uh, basketball will still be a part of my life. I told Coop and Kareem, both of them, a while ago, that I'll be calling them to play them one-on-one, -on -one, and we'll have some fun that way. I just won't be a part of the Lakers. Can you give us a special lesson over your biggest fans, the kids? Well, no question. Uh, for the kids, that's why I am going to be a spokesman for this HIV virus, because I want them to understand that uh, safe sex is the way to go. I think sometimes we think, well, only gay people can get it, only, uh, well, it's not going to happen to me, and here I am saying that it can happen to anybody, even me, Magic Johnson, it can happen to. So, 
uh, yes, I will be going out telling them. I'll be speaking more to a lot of groups around the country about this. Uh, what did you know? What did you know? Well, Wednesday, so that's yesterday. No, we're getting into that medically through the doctors, okay? I feel really good. I feel great. Uh, a part of my life is gone, but my wife is healthy. That's great, and we're going to go on. We're going to talk about that. Uh, Dr. Buster said if I want to stay, I, I can stay. Uh, I'll talk to Commissioner Stern here, and uh, hopefully I'll be with the league too. But those plans I don't know right now. It's going to take some time, just see which way I want to go. I will be s still pursuing my dream of owning a team, that's for sure. And, uh, when, did you magic, when did you take the test and are all NBA players supposed uh, to take it? Well, I, I took the test only because of a life insurance policy, and that's what happened. And uh, they kind of thought something was wrong. They didn't know quite what it was, so they... That's why we've been going through all these tests, and then finally yesterday, uh, I, I can't remember the exact date, but it's been. Was looking at the purpose. You talked about having the flu and all the other tests. That you right, went right, the right. They didn't find anything as far as anything in terms of the flu or anything wrong, but they just kept testing. You see, so and. Um, New life insurance right, right. Have you had a chance to talk to your colleagues like Larry Bird? Yeah, Larry called. I, I made sure that I called Larry, Mike Wisea. The guys who I'm close with, as well as my old teammates and my current teammates, and uh, I talked to Coach Riley. A, a lot of people I've talked to already, Man, just to let them know. Well, I think that everybody will be more careful. That's what I'm, I want to preach, and for everybody to understand that they just have to be more careful. Do you have something to say to your fans? You well, I'm gonna miss them. I'm gonna miss them. I'm gonna miss. Uh, coming in at 5 o'clock. I'm going to miss saying hello to the security people when I first get there, then the ushers. Then I get to see most of you at about 6 o'clock. Oh, man. Magic, what about this? What about that? What about the team? I I'll miss that. I'll miss the battles and the wars. But most of all, what I miss is the camaraderie that I have with the guys, being one of the fellas. Have you ever been tested before? Uh, well, we've been tested, and it was negative before. So... You know. But let me let me say this. My mom and dad is fine. They very supportive. My whole family. Just like I, you know, I want everybody to be. This is not like my life is over because it's not. I'm gonna live on. Um, everything is just still the same. I can work out. Uh, now you know I just be like one of the old timers in a sense. You know. What about the Olympics? Team? Yeah, my strength is fine. I can work out and do a, everything a normal person can do. I just have to, you know, take medication and uh, go from there. Okay, I, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. This is such a tough illness to deal with. Are you scared right now? No, no. If I would, you know, what you have to do is just. It's another challenge, another chapter in my life that. It's like being, your, your back is against the wall. And I think that you just have to come out swinging, and I'm swinging. Uh, you know, the only thing I can do is have a bright side. If I slip, then it might be over. If I'm down, if it's out, you know, I can't be like that. I never have been. That's why I'm telling you now, today. You know, um, that's why I'm here right now. And that's why I'm gonna be a spokesman for the virus, because I want other players to be tested, because I think they should, because a lot of people, if it hadn't been for that life insurance, I wouldn't have known. And just the everyday person, the same thing. And that's why I'm going to be a spokesman for it, because I think a lot of people should test themselves and know also practice safe sex, this whole thing. Now, I'm going to go and uh, let the doctors or whoever else you want to have questions for. I've appreciated all of you. Mitch, we go way back. Jim. Stu Nahan, all the people that, when I first came in as a rookie, gave me all the good advice and, and helped me out, and I really appreciate that. Um, now you just have me on a different side now. Uh, you may be interviewing me in, in like, Dr. Buss's office, so as soon as he move out, I'm going to move in. <laughs> but uh, I am going to go on, I'm going to beat it, and I'm going to have fun. Okay, so thank you again, and I'll see you soon.